we were we were really impressed with the amount of artwork within the exhibition that was basic was was re referencing the COVID pandemic. Um, so we had masses to choose from for the adaptability prize, um, but the one that we chose, I think, um, shows one of the much lighter sides of the of the responses to the pandemic, and we absolutely loved um, James Rowley's. Um, socially distanced still life of pears. So congratulations, James. Um, beautifully painted, very mundane subject matter, but with a, with a wonderful dose of hu uh, humour, which we all need. We all needed this just at this moment. Um, the arts has been devastated and the museums and galleries have been devastated through this pandemic with them not being able to open and it's been an absolute tragedy and devastating for them. And it's up to us artists to try and fly the flag for, for arts and what it can do for, for, for our mental health and for, for everything else and to keep us positive and keep us going. And it's up to us to support the arts as much as we can. Anyway, um, congratulations, James. I don't know if you want to add anything about your, your painting, but well done. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Leslie, and to all the judges. It's, um, it's an honour to receive the award, you know, to have one's work recognised like that. It's, I think it's, it's always an achievement just to get work selected for at an exhibition. So to me, among the, the prize winners, it's just fabulous. It's such a lovely surprise and a boost and then a confidence boost. And I think just a boost to mental health, really, over the... Um, with this particularly distressful time but it's an interesting thing and, and, and particularly in relation to the um, adaptability in award um, I'm primarily a painter of, of still life and, and I've been painting pears particularly um, on and off for 25 years since I was at college um, but it, it's um, it is interesting to I think be unable to avoid incorporating some of the current iconography into what I become sort of my go-to go-to object and, 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 and subject matter really so sort of and to pop into the supermarket just to buy some pears you know to set up to paint and being confronted with this hazard tape and directional arrows and told to behave in a certain way so it's just interesting how even though I think lots of the time regarding the artist studio as a safe place where you can almost try and forget what's going on in the world it's impossible to ignore it and for those influences to to come into the work so um, I suppose I was pleased to be able to do it to at least make reference to these paintings are being made at this particular time under these circumstances and then for it to be um, just recognised I suppose so I'm, I'm so grateful for the award and thank you all very much indeed for thank you for choosing the painting thank you brilliant thank you so much Leslie and thank you and congratulations James <laughs>